from the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Megan Gold. Well, it's another hot day for us across green country. The last seven days, we've been seeing those triple digit temperatures and we got a little bit of a break over the weekend, but normal for this time of year, 92, 93 degrees today, going to be well above average once again with the dangerous heat continuing heat index values 105 to 110 so heat advisories in effect that doesn't include all of our counties but nonetheless heat still going to be an issue this afternoon with excessive heat warnings down to our south heat advisories in texas as well so a lot of places across the country dealing with this heat highs today topping out in the triple digits some still in the upper 90s mixed with that humidity makes those heat index values go up the good news we do have a weak cold front looming once again just like the one that came through over the weekend we got a little bit of relief a little bit of a nice breeze and temperatures were in the upper 90s something to celebrate if you're not a fan of these triple digits some places Miami 94 tomorrow 93 in Grove 89 in Coffeeville and so the cooler temperatures will stick around for our Wednesday as well before the moist air moves back in southerly winds kick up once again and high pressure takes over so that cool front going to bring us a little bit of cloud cover as we head into this evening and into the overnight hours here it is at about midnight those winds shifting to the north the panhandle seeing some scattered showers and thunderstorms and our northern counties had the chance to see a a couple sprinkles as well tomorrow afternoon, but high pressure dominating really making these rain chances pretty minimal at this point, but the cloud cover will be good news and we could see a thunderstorm or two for our southern counties as well. So there's the cool front, the cooler air spilling in. And then of course, once we switch back to the southerly flow with those southerly winds, the moisture moves back in and those temperatures kick up once again. So highs and heat index values kind of all over the board this week. But as we get to our Thursday, on the rise and temperatures will be as well next week looking hot at this point no rain in the forecast either so we do have an air quality issue today. You can see a little bit of haze there above the horizon. Not a whole lot of wind and lots of sunshine dealing with ozone at this hour. So a moderate category right now for us here in the Tulsa Metro as well as our far eastern counties, Oklahoma City in that moderate category as well. And things will begin to improve as we head into the day tomorrow. So winds going to continue to decrease as well, a little bit higher than in anticipated at this hour, but they're already on the decline. Bartlesville only seven miles per hour. So of course we need that wind here in the summertime. Temperatures already pretty warm at this hour as well. 94 in Vanita, Pawnee, 95 degrees, 92 here in Tulsa. And we click quickly warm up as we head into this afternoon. That 10% minimal rain chance on Tuesday. A little bit of break in the heat on Tuesday and Wednesday before temperatures on the rise through the weekend and into next week. Got